Hello, I'm Edward Tart, math teacher. I have a bunch of math challenges here on YouTube, and from time to time, viewers who have tried to solve these puzzles have asked me, would I please give some solutions to some of them? And so far I have said, no, I'd rather not. But I've changed my mind. I'm going to start giving solutions to some of the puzzles and in this video, I'm going to give the solution to my Books on Shelf puzzle. Here is what I said in that video. The ten volumes of a ten-volume set of books are lined up right up against one another on a shelf in normal numerical order, one through ten, from left to right. The ten books are identical in size. Each book cover is one-eighth of an inch thick, and each book without the covers is two inches thick. The question is, how far is it straight through from page one of volume one to the last page of volume 10? Well, the majority of respondents to that puzzle gave an answer that is incorrect. Most of them said something like this. You have two inches of pages for each of the 10 volumes, that's 2 times 10, which is 20, plus you have 1 8th plus 1 8th, that's 1 4th of an inch here, here, you have it here in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 different locations, that's 1 8th times 9, which is I'm sorry, one fourth times nine, which is nine fourths, which is two and one fourth inches. Add that to the 20 inches of pages, and you get a total 22 and one fourth inches. Well, that is incorrect. And the reason it is incorrect is I said from page one of volume one to the last page of volume 10. Page one of volume one is not here it is here. And so these two inches don't count. Furthermore, the last page of volume 10 isn't here. It is here. So these two inches don't count either. So instead of having 20 inches of book pages, you have only 16 inches. Add to that the two and one-fourth inches of book covers and you get a total of 18 and one-fourth inches and that is the correct answer. So there you have the solution to my books on shelf puzzle. If you haven't already I invite you to check out some of my other math videos. I have a wide variety of them here on YouTube. Thank you for watching and listening.